Hey crafty friends, so I have a scrapbook haul and most of these items came from uh, the Facebook groups um, uh, and Facebook market. Uh, so yeah, check them out. Um, some of these items I made a deal, other items um, it was like they sell like in a big bulk um, and I'm not going to share uh, any of the seller's information ex with the exception of one only because these are like one-time deals you know people are just stashing and so um yeah i'm constantly checking facebook market and the uh, facebook groups that i'm in and you can join as many groups as you like and you can like i said buy and sell so these are all the people who um were selling items and i'm going to start with this one because um i like uh purchasing uh or actually going and seeing all the different types of stickers uh, the Scrapbook Shack has. Uh, it's by Natalie Settler, Settler Blod. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. Could be incorrect. Uh, but that is her Facebook name. So she um, she's constantly selling on there. So she has her little small business. And then she gave me a free washi. And uh, because I... I did a second purchase. She's, gave me, she's giving me 25% off the next purchase. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and share with you. Uh, I bought three of each design. So I picked up the um, the Doodle Pops uh, lemonade stand. And uh, I thought this one was cute as well. The little barbecue grill, mustard and ketchup, the sun, and of course Coca-Cola bottles. And then um, I also purchased this one here, the bottle with the, you know, chicken, um, corn, and wa uh, watermelon. My husband loves to eat watermelon, so I, he always has like a big bowl of cut up watermelon. And he puts a little chili and so, lemon and chili. So, yeah, I picked up those. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I also like I said, put in a second order and I picked up the doodle pops with the food, like bacon and eggs, fries, hamburger, or yeah, cheeseburger, and the pizza. And we love popcorn, so I had to pick up the popcorn. And like I said, I purchased extras of those. Um, the next seller um, that I purchased was... Uh, I don't know if this person was from Ohio, um, but I picked up this um, basic gray. You know, sometimes I'm looking for items to complete certain collections. And so this is one of the collections I don't have. I have the paper, but I don't have all the little embellishments that go with it. Although you can make your own embellishments with the paper. Um, but I still wanted to pick up some of the embellishments, so I didn't have to. <laughs> um, so I thought this was cute, the basic gray. This was called Serendipity and Shine On. And this person had like a, a whole set of items. And so she had a lot of, a lot of these spare parts. Um, they're bottle caps. And these are like the red and the letters. The red and letters. And then I, I got two of those. And then the black with the white letters. I grabbed, well, I had two of those, and then they had four of these, um, like silver, and then the letter uh, on top of it. And I remember buying these a while back, not by this brand, not, this is like a Hobby Lobby brand, but I remember buying these from a different collection, and so I thought those were so cute to find again. Uh, another seller was selling um, just like little embellishments there, you know, cut apart already, and so I just picked this little pack. And then I like that she had this collection. I believe this is, oh my God, I can, can't think of it right now. Um, oh, it's not going to come to me, but it's a collection that I, that I, um, I found some the paper, but I don't have any of the embellishments. It'll come to me later on, um, the name of the, the company. And then another seller was selling these, um, uh, Sizzix frame and vintage. So this was all in a group and I really liked it because of this um, uh, Sizzix pinwheel. It's really tiny. Can't wait to use that. And I was also looking for some Halloween dies. So I found out with the bats and this is by um, Quick 
quick cuts. Um, so I got that. I don't really know what this is, but it came in there. And then also this um, fence. So I thought this fence, and it comes with like a banner too. Okay, cool. Oh, no, not a banner. It's a little um, triangular uh, shapes that go on top right here. All right, so that same seller had something that I wanted, which were these uh, Teresa Collins Save the Date um, wood pieces. Like I said, I have the paper, but I don't have um, all the, the whole collection. Um, I also picked up this, these some dies. And look at this die. I love, love, love this one. So I'm guessing this is more like a dimensional one because here's a little hair that goes here. And then this is a tail. And then here's a little um, horn. And then this part goes over here on top, I'm guessing. And then, of course, it has the little um, curly strings. So I got that. And um, I also got this one. I don't know. <laughs> It must have fell out somewhere, but um, but I know it came in here. But I got these dies as well by Taylor Expression, and this was another bundle that I um that kind of came all together. And let me move the camera this way. So I got those, uh, the little house, and look how tiny this house is. So so small. I'm gonna use that for my project life, um, cards. I mean my yeah project life cards. And look, I got a fence. Um, I got this witch in her house and a spider web and the spiders, two different size spiders. I thought this was cute to put in little goodie bags or boxes. Um, and look at this. Oh my goodness. I got the witch legs. Um, so I got that. This could also be for Christmas. So looking at, um, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found some little feet that look like that in Christmas design. And then I grabbed this, um, banner of bats. And a scarecrow. So I'm going to use that for Thanksgiving. I've been looking for a skeleton. I found this one here. So I can't wait to make some boxes. Um, and then these spider webs. Uh, and these I purchased a while back. You know, um, I just got barely got the chance to show you what I found. I didn't have this Amy Tangerine die, so I'm happy to have found that. And pumpkins, a whole bunch of pumpkins. Um, and then these are the spiders, and there's I believe they're the same, two of the same kind. And then she sent it to me in this um plastic uh. I don't know, holder. And then this one says spooky. And there's two of those. I really don't need two, but I mean, it's nice that I've gotten more than one just in case I lose it. And then I found this, um, the spider weights also came in this set. I don't remember if I purchased it separately or if this came with this group of items, but I got clouds. And then I had purchased something from Etsy and it just barely came in because it takes forever when you purchase on Etsy and then um, this is another seller oh wait a minute I have another item that came from Etsy oh these butterflies I love the little stitching design anyways this is another item that I um, purchased and this is another um, what do they call it quick wet I don't, know, I don't remember the name of that brand right now but um, quick cuts and so, yeah, that's what I picked up as far as dies. And so let me go ahead and get started and show you some of the other items. Let me put this stuff back. So they're not all over the place. I purchased some page protectors. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you those now. Sorry, I had to move my foot out of the way. Um, so Project Life page protectors. I got this um, little bundle here. Again, I don't remember how much I paid, but I know it was a pretty good deal. Um, three by four of the pocket um, little, the ones that you can uh, use your little machine to glue onto your um, original page protector. And so I thought that was cool. You get 20 in this pack. In Project Life, I have like a little um, uh, binder, little miniature ones, um, the 4x4s, 
uh, so I picked up extra of those sheets. Um, the Simple Stories um, page protectors. And that's what that looks like. Oh, this one also has a couple that you can um, uh, run with your little machine. So it gives you the option of two. Or is it they're all the same? Yeah, I guess you can make it that way. Anyways, um, I also picked up this one here. And that's what it looks like. I guess you get all those different designs. I don't have this one. This one has a lot of different designs. And it's good because I'm the kind of scrapbooker that I need to have um, different types of page protectors. Because... I don't just do 12 by 12. Sometimes I'm like a paparazzi and I take too many photos of specific events. And so um, this is at 8 by 10. And this one comes, it's open on this side. And then the, the next one is open. Let me turn it this way. This way. And it's good because if you have certificates, um, sometimes this uh, page protector would be great for those type of certificates anyways um so i am a kind of scrapbooker that i i have a lot of photos or very few photos and so i want to kind of have page protectors that kind of go with those uh, specific events um three and a half i'm sorry a six by twelve uh page protector so that's six by twelve and then i got design three these are like the smaller ones for your smaller um uh type of three ring binder notebook and then um design one so you had to put three photos there and i i try to purchase different size um cards as well too because i don't um i don't use sometimes my photos may be different sizes i like to crop them and that's uh design h it's And then this one is Design J. And this is Design J. And this one here is by American Crafts. And I think there's only like one or two in here. So they're not completely um, full. I think I paid $40 for this set here. And some Paper Studio, different um, size. Um, page protectors and here's a eight and a half by 11 so look at the design here there's our five um by 12 by 3.5 or 5.25 by 3.5 so um it's nice you can crop up the photos here's a little sample of what that looks like this one was 7.99 hmm. And then I grabbed the, well, it came in the set of seven uh, papers. I, you know what? I've never used their page protectors, but look what this looks like. You get a lot of different size pockets. And it, this is a nine by 12. So it's a very unique size um, page protector by Studio Calico. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to cut some paper out and see what size fit in that um and then here's another studio calico i don't know if you guys can see this design hmm okay that's cool okay i got oh here's a different one i thought these were all the same but no they're a little bit different so yeah you can put like even smaller photos and then sei look at this one here that's another unique size. Okay, and in here I have um, this page protector, and it comes like four, but then you have a little spacing in here. So I wonder if I could put like a little strip of paper, or I'll probably just put some washi over that line. But anyway, it's a whole bunch. Um, and then the next one is this one here, the Ultra Pro. And then the last one is this Ultra Pro. And I like this because it's really thick. Well, I'm going to let you go. I will post another video with some more Facebook um, market finds. So stay tuned. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.